Hi, welcome back. This is Tanvir Sabur and in this lecture we will add a 3D cube in the real world and we will make our air camera as default camera. To do that we need to delete the main camera. That's the first of game object and we need to assign air camera a tag that will be a main camera tag because default unity camera doesn't work in AR. And by doing this, we are making our AR camera as a default camera. A tag is a reference word which you can assign to one or more game objects. For example, you might define player tag for player control characters and enemy tag for non-player control characters. And you might define items the player can collect in a scene with the collectible tags. In short, tags help you identify game objects for scripting purpose. Now let's create a 3D cube. Go to 3D object, click on cube, the scale of this cube is 111 on XYZ, we need to resize it for the AR because in unity one unit is equal to one meter, I think 0 0.1 will work for us. If we talk about scale, unit adder works in a distance units of meters. For example, 100 meter city block would take up to 100 units. Air kit and air core also work natively in meters. So it sounds like a perfect match. For tabletop experience, you will generally want to asset to size down to fit within your play area on your table. Cube at the scale of 1 will be equal to 1 meter in the real world. And that is too big for our tabletop experience. So we will reduce the size to make it look nicer in the AR. Now we have a small game object. The gizmos are overlapping. We can reduce their size. Gizmos are used to give visual feedbacks or visual debugging in the scene view. To focus on any game object, you can press F. F is a shortcut key to focus on any game object. By holding middle mouse button, you can have a movement like this. As you can see, these lines are making a boxes. They are basically representing a floor. It looks like our cube is a little bit below the floor. We need to make it up. Let's make it 0 0.5. Now it looks fine. This cube is at the same position where our air camera is. And we have already placed this cube in the scene. We are not generating it dynamically. And when we will test this on the device, when we will start the app, Q will be on that position in the real world. Let's create a build and have a demo of this lecture. For testing, I am using Google Pixel 3. Here we can see a cube is placed at the starting point and it stick to that position. It's not moving from there.